Yeah! <laughs> there's bass don't know there's hooters out here. Hooters girls. These fish are just like being stupid, man. That's a good one. <laughs> it's you guys. It, they're, they're, they help me too. You girls rock and those guys rock. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get another one there. I don't know. Look at this fish. I feel nice. bad, but I'm gonna have to cut the fish off. He swallowed so deep. Oh my God, that's a good one. Oh my God, it's happening again. It's happening again, dude. Then <laughs> right now I'm like a, you know, kind of like an animal and kind of. I feel what the, I feel. I feel the fish. You know, they 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 talk to me a little bit, which is why I said what before. What kind of an animal? Uh, I said before, a big cat's cool. I like big cats. They're pretty gnarly. I don't think anything is more gnarly than a big cat on land. Amazing bone structure. A yeah, 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 tigers and lions are, are insane. There we go. Oh, there there go. This is getting more oh, impressive as it goes insane. along. What a week it has been for you, Aaron <laughs> Martins, and we're going to let you fish on here, and best of luck to you today. Thanks, Tommy. Hey, Zona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the hog snatcher. Uh, what are you? I'm the big hog snatcher. Uh, tell me who you are, man. I'm hog and snatcher. And we were sitting outside of the hotel room one night, and he looked at me, and he said, you know, he goes, you know how like at a zoo, when they tranquilize big lions or tigers to, to give them medication, stuff like that, he yeah. said, <laughs> but he said, what? He, he said that he just would love to feel the bone structure and the power yeah. of their jaw. No. <laughs> and, and oh, that's wanted, interesting. That is. And what's funny was he could, you could tell he wanted to talk about it. Right? It's almost like bed fishing. Yeah, it should enter quietly in the morning. In the afternoon, you want it to flop. You want to make a lot of noise. It's weird. I mean, they're eating birds, so I mean, it, that's a pretty big target. Can you imagine being a bass, how good a blackbird would taste? Oh my gosh. It'd be like a double-double from in and out, falling from the sky when you're starving. That's a big one. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Look at that one. <laughs> That's why I want to fish here. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's why I'm going to flip all day. Forget the bed fishing. This, this is way more fun. Oh, I could listen to that all day long, Tommy Sanders. How could you not make that one thing? And that is <laughs> Skeeter, taste the bait. Oh, well, yeah. this is an animation we've never had here on the Bassmasters. Aaron said a lot of these fish that were far back in the Thule's, no doubt were feeding on bluegill, no doubt feeding on crawdad, but he said that they were also eating blackbirds. And he said the reason he knew that was when you see these little, just little immature blackbirds in a nest, a man want a sip of water. Well, and then Aaron said this would happen to them. And I'm sorry, now hold on. I'm not sure now, that's a he, The reason he knew this, he literally saw 
feathers in his live well. He would throw his half ounce punch skirt with a Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. And here was the main key. You had to get your bait way back into these toolies, 15 to 20 feet. And Aaron Martins has been flawless doing this all week long. That's a big, big one. Nice one. Yeah! Woohoo! Look at that! <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little goozy. Dude! Oh, that's a four pounder. That's a four pounder. Oh my gosh, it's over four. Bam! There, there's for you then. Dang! I might keep flipping, dude. I might keep flipping. I might keep flipping. Look at that fish. Look at that way back in this stuff. That's four and a half pounds. Oh, if I get my normal keepers, <laughs> this is it. Oh. Uh, I'm the furious hog snatcher in Zona. Furious hog snatcher right now. I want to win a tournament. I'm sick of getting second. I've had like 12 of them in a row. <laughs> That's right. Take a load of furious oh yeah. hog snatcher awesome. right yeah, there. You've been told. You've been warned, Zona. That should that should be a, your reference to him from here on out. Come on, snatcher. Let's get five in the boat. Gee whiz. This is hard to get the fifth one. Hog snatcher. If he catches you, you're done. I was snatching some serious hogs a little while ago. I know that I was the freer yeah. hog snatcher Woo at that moment. Yeah! Woohoo! Where's that six pounder at? That'd be really awesome. Hog snatcher does it. My fifth one's a giant. I can't hold it. A 30 pound braid, it hurts. I don't want to touch the floor. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That's a four pounder. That's three four pounders. Oh, skinny though. He's big though. He's three and three. He's four pounds. He's skinny, but he's still four pounds. <laughs> my fifth one is a big one. Yeah, baby. Five. Yeah. Yeah! I should have held it up for you. Sorry. I was too excited. I'll hold the next four pounder. That's three four pounders, dude. <laughs> Woo! Dang. Two time Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Amart Aaron Martins. Looking for 13 pounds, 11 ounces. 19 pounds, five ounces. Let me hear it for the Havasu Hog Snatcher. Two West Coast Elite Series Assassins need 16 pounds and 15 ounces. Five fish all alive, 14, 14, Amart has done it. 13 second place finishes, but none of them matter right now. It happened. Your 2015 Lake Havasu Bassmaster Elite Series Champion, Amart Aaron Martins. Let's bring out Aaron Martins mother. What a great Mother's Day celebration. Happy Mother's Day, Lake Havasu. Hog snatcher. Give it to me, wait. Give it. Hog snatcher. I'm the hog, hog snatcher. snatcher. I don't seem to do it. I'm the hog. Please. Give me cone of injustice. Uh, impurity. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Um, I'm gonna tell you that uh, I, I have nothing to tell anybody right now. See if there's some, something else going on. The 
a big one. Oh, he's barely hooked. Let me go around here. Not hooked real good. Nah. Uh -uh. nah don't, don't do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was hooked all right. I thought it was hooked a little less than that. That's, woo, it always is here. <laughs> there you go. It's a nice one. That's, ex that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, yeah, it's always, a, always exciting in this place. We're only getting five, six bites a day and they're that big. That's a four pounder. This is definitely like a like a fight kind of like I like Carl, but I don't want Carl to catch my fish. <laughs> Normally, it's not as important as this one. I want to catch him. I don't want him to catch him. kind of afraid to bounce him. He rubbed the piling when I hooked him, so I do normally flip this fish in the boat. I'm, I'm concerned about the line a little bit. He took pretty good, so wear him down and grab him, right? Keep him going one direction. Just... I wasn't sure. Ooh, there's a nice one. Yeah. Fish are sleeping right now. Whatever it is, I'm ready for a bite though, I'll tell you that. It's just like they won't eat. They don't, they don't uh, react to anything. They don't chase bait. Very inactive. It's like you probably have to almost pop it right in front of their face to get one to bite, which on, in this place is kind of hard. It's been slow every day, but I've had a good bag every day. But the tides are changing every day too. These fish are really funny on the tide. Dang, they're just not one to eat yet. Just nailed it. Don't. I thought he was gonna be there. An hour from now, that fish probably would have ate it. Had some size to him too. Dang it. My first bass bite right there. They're reluctant to eat yet. I kind of wanted to start local this morning, but I just figured I'd catch like one or two in the morning and then, and then that tide starts to work. I could catch another good bag, but it's too late to do that. We got like at least probably an hour before things start to get right a little bit. It's just a terrible waiting game, but you know, if I can catch one in the process, Every fish is huge right now. I wish I could run down, you know, down south towards the ocean and find a, a spot where the tide's right and then come back here and follow it. But I don't know the river that well. So I'm Doing the best I can with what I got, I guess. So I've lost way too many tournaments, like stupid things, like should have started in the stupid flats. Oh, dang on it, man. I'm not sure if that was a bass or not. My poor wife and kids are probably watching it. I'm sure I'm not leading it anymore. Lost that five pound lead. It'll be good about two o'clock. The problem is I have to be in at three. Oh my gosh. Please start eating it. No, stop, stop biting. Eat. Oh my gosh! No, no, that was a big one. That was a four pounder. Woohoo! Dang. Oh, that's terrible. 
Oh my gosh, it may have been five, dude. It was so big. Oh. How did you get off that spinnerbait? It's all hooks. Gosh, that fish slammed it too. I don't understand how that fish didn't get it. Whew, dang. I'll make it dizzy right there. It's very painful. Like maximum painful. Gosh, dang it! That's a bass. I'm scared of that thing right now, I'll tell you that. I'm just petrified of the spinnerbait. That was a bass. Well, I mean, they're starting to bite. That's just, that's two nice bites in a row. Oh, gosh, dang. Yeah. Ah, dog, don't. Ah. Oh, my gosh, dude. That was a good one. What is the deal with me not hooking fish today? Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ah. Mm, it's a good fish, you know, three, two, three, three and a half, whatever the hell they are, all are. Dang, 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 dang. <sighs> Should have like 13, 14 pounds right now, at least. Lamo, two hours left. Why does this always have to happen? I'm being taught a lesson, that's what it is. Fish slammed it. I don't understand that. You got you, didn't I? Yeah. You ate it. It's like the th I've had three like this on today and lost them. This is the kind of fish that are bite me right here. This is why I'm so mad right now. You see this fish? I've lost like probably three like that today. Three I've had come off. And you swallowed it. Four pounder. Four pounder, let's get to work. Come on, they're biting. I can't even show you the fish right now. No, 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 we don't have time for that. Oh, that one swallowed it, four pounder. Man, that felt good. But I, I hooked a couple of fish earlier this morning. I hooked the same way, they have them the same, the same weight and everything. And they come off. And I mean, I'm sticking them hard. They're sunk and I, and I loaded, they're on and they come off. I probably had close to a 20 pound bag on this morning. It's like incredible. So I'm very frustrated, but we still had the best time ahead of us. It's looking, I don't want to say bad for Bill, but it's, it's just, it's gotta happen, man. I've lost too many and there's too many fish in here and it's getting right now and, and it should happen. It's my turn. These are all really good pylons too. I'm just waiting for another one. I know they're real tight to that wood. And the crazy thing is it really need a pair of two poles together and you get bit. Or you go straight between them, but if you try to hit a corner of a pole, it won't work. It's gotta be in line with the two poles or you gotta go through the middle. No, you can't give them the bite. I don't care, I can tell everybody that now. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Feel better now. Back to myself. Crazy self, crazy. <laughs> Woohoo! That's my turn, man. No bites for four hours? No way. Uh uh. Oh, no, no. No, that doesn't happen like that. No way. That's how you do it. See? No, that's how I was supposed to be doing it this morning. I may do, I may do a ski amputation. Now we're cooking with gas, baby. Something like that. Oh. Now, yeah, how you doing? I'm happy I wave at you. Stuff's starting to happen though. I mean, bait's really getting active. It's starting around really fr frantically. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah! Oh my gosh, it came off of my hand in the water. That's seven pounds. Woo! Oh my gosh! Ay! They are in here. I lost a big one there earlier. Once that was it. Oh my gosh! That's big fish to the tournament. 
That's six and a half pounds. <laughs> Woo! Keep your head on. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that fish is that big. I thought I was in a rope. I'm like, what is this? It's, it's a standard rope. No, it's gonna come off. Man, I see a six and a half pounder roll up. It wasn't a rope, it was a street bass. Woohoo! That was awesome. That's big fish at a tournament, too. I mean, nobody's caught anything nearly that big. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you guys stuck around to see that one. Oh, that fish could come off so easy. <laughs> This place changes every day. Like something, I, I throw something different every day. First day I come on, uh, well, spinner bait and a drop shot. And then the second day I caught, started catching more on the spinner bait. And the third day it was like a jig. Every day, it's kind of a different, little different, a different bite. Oh boy, oh boy. Three pounder. Oh yeah, it's three, three and a quarter, three. <laughs> three and a quarter. <laughs> Woo, it starts off so bad and ends up so good. How's it do that every day? <laughs> oh my gosh. I got one more to get rid of. I might as well try. <laughs> I do have another, another stretch of DOS I haven't hit yet. I'm gonna kind of hit him. I don't want to leave too many bass here. People are wondering like, if I act like this one, I'm just fun fishing. I do, because I like catching them. <laughs> oh, look at the shape of that one. <laughs> you, get the, you get the awkwardness of that bass? It doesn't matter, he still weighs a lot. <laughs> Oh boy, look out. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. He is looking for 13 pounds and seven ounces. Looking for 13, seven, 21 pounds, five ounces. 21 pounds of five ounces with 70 pounds, two ounces. The hook performance of fishing Bassmaster Elite on Chesapeake Bay belonged to Amart from the start. He led all four days, and here on Championship Sunday, weighs in the biggest bag of the tournament. Aaron Martins with 70 pounds, two ounces, your champion. Nineteen pounds, six ounces. Amart becomes a three-time Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. And that makes Aaron Martins the 2005 Angler of the Year. 20 pounds, 11 ounces. Aaron Martins is the 2013 Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. The most dominant season in Bassmaster Elite Series history. Aaron Martins, not one, not two, but a three-time Toyota Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Two wins this season and the ultimate crown. Aaron Martins, congratulations, and we know you did not do this alone. T. Martins dominates the Bassmaster Elite Series. Your 2015 Toyota Bassmaster Angler